you know, from day one, we knew we had a great team. We just didn't know, like, how far we could have come. Uh, but I think once they kind of just realized that all we have to do is just have fun and play hard and play for each other, we just, we just got into a really good rhythm. And when state hit, we're playing really good volleyball and we got a good seed. Teams came to us, we played better and better every day. So coming here today and winning state is just like what we worked for. And I think they deserved it because they're a little bit underestimated um, and they just brought it today. Tell us about this match in particular. How did you get it done? Uh, well, it was, was fun because we did not know them. So it was the team that we kind of had to figure out a little bit more as the game went. Uh, but we knew that uh, what we've been doing was working, and we just kept, you know, our side uh, steady, passing well, going for the, going to the people that we know could, you know, could get some some damage there. And once they figured it out, then we went away from them, and the other other girls had their time to shine, and they came into play. So it it felt like whoever came today, we would have had to play our our side of the net. Make sure that the nerves didn't take you know the best out of us, and it didn't. Like it was a little bit tense in the beginning, but once we started playing like we did throughout the whole state uh, run, we knew we were gonna you know do well and possibly win. My, my observation about this team is that they're never gonna beat themselves. I mean, you're gonna have a team across the net from you is gonna have to come out and take it from you, and that's very hard to do. They can play with you for a few points here or there. Then you look at the scoreboard, and they're down six, or they're down seven, or they're down eight, because you guys have taken care of your side of the ball. How do you instill that in them? Um, I think it's a, it's really a good combination of people we have in there. You know, like the, the the older kids knew what to do when they need to. The you know the upperclassmen was just kind of guiding guiding the horses, and then. Everybody would go in, kind of do their job, like you said. So it wasn't about who was on the other side. It was like, hey, we all have a job on this team. And if we do, like we've been doing with each other, it's going to work. So the mental part of this group, it was impressive from day one. Like, I've had really good teams at Cathedral. A lot of them, you know, the volleyball was just spectacular. But this kind of calmness and just coachability and just following good game strategy, and staying cool when things look crazy, it's the first one. Juliana, yes. May was pretty good tonight, you know. But how would you put in perspective the, uh, the run she had in the playoffs overall? One of the best you've seen as a coach? Yes, uh, me, wow. Uh, so we knew people knew what to do against May, but they didn't know enough. So we knew what they're gonna do to try to stop May, but we, I kept telling myself, as you still go to her until they can stop it. But we also knew that because she was doing such a good job in the middle, everybody was having their time to you know, get their, their clean kills. So I think other teams just couldn't believe we were just gonna set May again. So they would hesitate a minute, and as soon as they hesitated, May, May was just a killer. And it was just fun to see somebody that's not even in the middle, just get in there and just lights out for like a month and a half and not even look back. Um, it just makes me like so happy for her. Gianna, considering what you know, what the group accomplished in 2022, the fact that this group, from if we discard September 21st in Las Vegas, was about as close to perfect as a team uh, could be. I mean, you went over an entire calendar month without even dropping a set. You only dropped three sets since that day, and they, like just the consistency, the maturity of this group. Just how, how impressive is it to watch? I think they're very different from the 2022 team. And uh, the you know, the runs and, and, the, and playing well and beating teams is, was very similar as far as stats goes and everything. But the way they took, took care of business was very different. And what I liked about this team was, like I said, everybody had a little job on the court. And nobody needed anything else. They knew if they did their part, even if it was for one play, like go one time there and you can just block that one girl and come out, they would go in with like 100%. My 2022 team just had so many superstars that was almost like, okay, just go get the job done. And this one was like, I had to coach them, but they also believed that they could beat anybody too. So I think this is a very mental, mentally tough team that knew it didn't matter who they're going against. As long as we are together and following a good uh, game plan, we could do it. And yeah, nobody could stop us for a month and a half or two. Absolutely. <laughs> well, and just the evolution too. I mean, I had the, 
plus you know, talking to some of your athletes, you know, after the modern day when I just how well rounded this group uh, became and just, you know, and how many people c uh, could get involved. I mean, obviously, you know, like you said to yourself that May's run was, was brilliant, but it, it wasn't, you know, it, it wasn't a one woman wrecking crew out there. Absolutely not. And that's what I think when we played Durango, we're still trying to figure out our team because it was a very different team with very different um, people that were actually with big roles on the court. So they had to figure out what it was like to be in that role as well. And, and when Durango came, it was to the beginning of it, and we could see some, some good stuff coming out, but not enough to take, on, to take Durango's uh, uh, title. Uh, but we weren't worried. We're like, okay, we're on the good track. We know what May can do. Let's see what everybody else do. And uh, that's what we did. We're like, okay, May, you are our, our go-to player, but we know you're not going to win by yourself. Everybody has to play with you. And that's what I think it happened. Nobody took the back seat. Everybody was in the front seat with May, but letting her just be the one that would terminate the play more often. Um, and that was fun to see, like, new setting and 6-2, like all that moving pieces that a lot of the times makes it messy. For us, we need it because we needed every single one to come in and do a little different. How does, how does the run you guys have to make through Southern California prepare? Like, you know, you look at the last four or five years of been Southern California teams. How does that gauntlet prepare you for to kind of make it look a little easier? Here? Yeah, well, I had a lot of people came to me and said, well, the Mother Day match was the final. You guys got it. And I hate when people tell me that because it's really not the case, you know? But I feel like we got three great, really good rounds. Alamedos was really different and really good, really scrappy. And then we had to play Redondo, who also had a lot of good things that, you know, kind of uh, pushed us to get better at blocking a, a really good pin and all that stuff. So I felt like we got tested very differently throughout the stage. And finishing on Mother Day, who everybody was saying that was the best team um, in the country right now, or close to being number one, we knew we were doing something right. So I think Midi's run was a little easier, which kind of backfired on them. We, we had been pushed every single match. Maybe the score doesn't say us sometimes, but I feel like every match was intense and we we're just chipping in a little bit better on the blocking, a little bit better on the serving. And, and then so when we got here, like unless they bring something extremely different, which their pipe swings were something we didn't see much. And it took us a little bit to, to, to adjust to it. But other than that, we hadn't seen them all. So. My